Alright, so today we're going to be learning how to set up a 5M server. Basically to start, just name it, make a folder, name it whatever you want. Uh, I'll just name it video server. Go to whatever web browser you'd like to, go to 5M.net. Go to create a server. Host your own server. And, uh, and scroll through. They keep updating their stuff, so it's sometimes hard to find. Go ahead. You have to install the Visual C++. You're going to need this, and you're also going to need CFX. Alright. So, and download zip for that. That'll go ahead and download. And we're going to go ahead and download the latest server version, which is for me is 2.12.2021. Just download whatever one is the latest for you. You're also going to need a copy of this, which is the server.cfg. Let's go ahead and highlight this and make a copy of it. And go in here. You're going to make a blank text document. Just go ahead and enter it through. Do edit with whatever document thing you have. I prefer um, Notepad++. Right here, uh, under set your server's host name, we'll do test server. make it easy enough to find and then you'll do file save as server cfg and you'll want to save it as all types so you can go ahead and save this is the server can actually read it for you you'll see it right there you can delete that blank text document we'll not need that anymore then open up both of these uh, nah you don't I don't pay for that you know. Go ahead and minimize both of those. You go ahead and copy all of the server zip. And just paste it all right there. To your main file directly directory for that. And then you want to open server uh, CFX server data. And you will want to. I usually just drag and drop all of it. it doesn't make much of a difference. You can just replace it. It's just a tang. Doesn't make much of a difference. And then now you'll see a resources folder on it. That's basically where you can put all your cars or whatever you need. There's a video already out on how to add cars. So anything else you guys would like to see, go ahead and comment down below to make it a little easier for me on what to come out with for you guys. Um, and then the next step is you're going to go ahead to the 5M website and type in server key. Uh, and that's not going to work, is it? Key. So you're going to go ahead to this website. You're going to sign in, and basically it's just going to ask you for what the IP is for your host. So for me, this is my personal v VPS at my house, so I'm not going to share all that just because I don't want you guys having my IP and all that. Um, basically, it'll just bring you there. You can set the name as to whatever you please. It won't really matter. It's just what it shows up on their end. Uh, and then you will get a code, which let me go ahead and grab one from another server I have on this VPS. Uh, go to FX server. Don't mind this right here, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a server key, which for me is going to be right here. Should look something like this. And before anyone tries saying that they can all go steal this code, obviously I'm going to deactivate this code right after I'm done with this, so it will not do much for you. Uh, go ahead and place, place it right here where it says change me. Just add the parentheses, and so you can have Steam, Steam authentication for your server. You can also grab that. Be right there. Paste that right there. And then go ahead and do save. Minimize. And you're pretty much all set, except for right here. These two files up in the top right, I'm going to include these in a drive folder. It is just an easy start for your server. So I'll go ahead and show you how to set those up too. So you're just going to grab your file directory. You'll just need it for all of this, basically. Um, just has, just helps you clear your cache and all that. And you'll just want to do the exact same as me. Just follow right along with this video, and you should be able to get a server up relatively easily. And there's that for the first one. Uh, pretty sure there's nothing on this one yet. Go ahead and drag and drop both of those in there. And click start server and clear the cache. 
Doesn't really matter, there's no cache yet, but it's just how you clear the cache simply. And now you'll see your base server go ahead and start up. And let's go ahead and over and hop on 5M and log on real quick. See it right there. We'll go ahead and connect. Just to make sure everything loads up properly. Should in theory everything should load properly. And again, if you do have any comments, feel free to comment them down below. Uh, message me on Discord. Anything, I will pretty much respond as fast as I can. Um, as some of you guys have realized, the other videos I do have a good amount of people that message me for help. So I'll do my best to help you as fast as I can. Just wait for this to go ahead and load up real quick. <laughs> and then, like I said earlier, if you guys have any other things you guys would like to see for videos, content, anything, feel free to let me know. Um, I do have new computer parts on the way. Um, should be here within the next few days. Uh, and I should be able to start recording content on um, my server I personally own, which is Never Running Roleplay. That will also be linked down below. If you guys would like, we are accepting uh, civilians, BCSO, and state. We are also doing uh, fire, and as you can see, everything's working perfectly fine. Uh, menus are disabled, which is an easy fix. We can go right back over here. Go right back in the server. And script took a lot, just change that to one. Easy little fix right there, and the next time you start up your server, you will have access to menus. Easy little thing. Yeah, Alright, feel free to like and subscribe. Have a good night, or day, whatever time of day, whatever time of day it is for you guys. Bye.